Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for the crappy mic, but you just have to deal with it. Um, it's time for the annual Looney Tunes Collector's Choice announcement, where I um, talk with you guys about the different cartoons on the next volume. And this time, they announced the entire cartoon list for volume 4. And... As we speak, we're looking at the cover of the Collector's Choice Volume 4, which was announced today. And I'm very happy with it, because it's orange. It's my favorite color. So this, um, this cover absolutely looks fantastic. So this is what you guys can expect for uh, Looney Tunes Collector's Choice Volume 4. We're now going to... Uh, talk about the cartoons and of course um, it's set to release on November 26th um, if you guys want to read about this yourselves or um, just want to look uh, at this page uh, at your own leisure you can go to the Looney Tunes fandom wiki and then you can look up the collector's choice uh, series and then you got an entire um, big you know um thing here with all the information and all the uh, cartoons that we're gonna go over so november 26th uh two shorts and a set of new release stored for this release pack up your troubles and holiday for drumsticks and another muscle tough was restored for the hd format due to the original restoration only being available in a japanese isle of tweety volume one release which i actually have in my collection and um there are two bonus cartoons, so, wow, we actually have 27 cartoons, as you can see right here. 27 cartoons. Um, these were uncropped, because they were cropped, widescreen cropped, uh, in the Looney Tunes Superstars collections. But we're going to get uncropped prints of Stork Naked and Lighter Than Hair. And furthermore, the Impatient Patient is available on home media in its original black and white version for the first time uh the running time is two hours 45 minutes 27 shorts um and these are the shorts that are on this disc let's um look at them the first one is along came daffy which is a daffy duck short and unfortunately it is a blue ribbon uh title card which i hate because they're ugly i prefer uh the original title cards if they even have those uh, the next one is a bone for a bone which has a nice title card um this one is starting the goofy goof goofy gophers goofy gophers i'm sorry <laughs> but yeah nice title card right there then the next one is the cagey cannery which has a blue ribbon title it also has an original title but i'm afraid that will not be on the looney tunes collector's choice i'm afraid they're going to use the blue ribbon title but i prefer the original title of course the kg canary stars granny cat and canary so yeah the next one is the fighting ones which is a uh cartoon starring sylvester and hector and it doesn't really have a title card it's probably like a text on a moving image right there but that's fine uh, then the fifth cartoon here is dangerous dan mcfoo which, of course, has an ugly blue ribbon uh, title card. And it's probably one of those one, sh uh, one character thing where it just has a character that doesn't really matter because the characters aren't even mentioned here. So, yeah, I don't really care about that one. Devil's Feud Cake is episode 6 right here. It is a cartoon starring Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam. It is an okay title card, basically like a, form like a cake. Episode 7 is Double Chaser. Ugh, blue ribbon, boo. But it's, again, it doesn't even list the uh, characters in it, so it's probably a one-off character. Who cares? Double or Mutton is episode 8. Uh, starring Ralph Wolf and Sam Sheepdog. Um, yeah, it's an okay title card, I guess. 
Uh, episode 9 here is Fox Pop. Ugh, Blue Ribbon, starring Fox. I don't know Fox, but this is probably Fox. Um, don't care, Blue Ribbon, ugh, why? Hen House Henry is episode 10. Yes, this is what I like to see. Awesome title card. And of course, it stars Fogler and Leghorn, Henry Hawk, and Barnyard Dog. Love this title card. When it depicts, you know, characters and, you know, showing the uh, title of the episode in a fun way. Like here he's holding the board with the uh, episode on it, title. Uh, so yeah, Holiday for Drumstick is episode 11, which is a Daffy Duck short. And Daffy Duck is my favorite character, so yeah, I'm all for it. It is, of course, a nice title card, even though the picture here is cut off. I believe this is the the title card for it, but yeah, it's kind of cut off here, but it's nice. I love it. Very simple, very cool, starring Daffy Duck and Tom Turk. Holiday for Drumsticks. Episode 12 is Hopalong Casualty. Uh, Roadrunner and Wily A. Coyote usually don't have, like, these still title cards, um, usually just a text above a moving image, but yeah. Will A. Coyote, Roadrunner, always great. Hop along casualty. The next one is Hide and Co. Tweet. Eh, it's okay. Title card. Sylvester and Tweety in Hide and Go Tweet. This is the one but that was on... No, it wasn't. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Um, the Impatient Patient. Uh, this is a black and white short with Daffy Duck. I love this title card. It's pretty cool. So yeah, Daffy Duck, I'm all for it. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a great one. Then we got Leghorn Swoggled. See, this is what I like. I love this title card. It's great. I love it. Of course, starring Fogger and Leghorn, Henry Hogg, Barnard Dog, and the Supreme Cat. Then we got Meatless Fly Day. Uh, yeah, genetic, uh, generic, sorry, uh, title card. No characters mentioned here, so it's just a one off character. I don't care. Here we got uh, Mouse Warming starring Claude Cat. Uh, yeah, it's an okay title card. Then we have the Mouse Marized Cat. Ugh. Blue Ribbon. They're probably going to use that, but it has an original title, which looks like this. Um, they're probably not going to use it, but it would be fantastic if they did. Because this is much better than this. Crap. Anyway, uh, it stars Babbitt and Catsello. Don't know those characters, don't care. Moving on. Muscle Tussle is episode 19, and it's Daffy Duck again. The The thing that I like about this is that it has a lot of Daffy Duck shorts, which is great because it's my favorite character. Plus, the Daffy Duck shorts aren't all bundled together, but they're actually spread on the disc with different cartoons uh, in between them. Uh, this, is really, uh, this is really great. I love that. Of course, it's our Daffy Duck and Melissa Duck. Very nice title card. I love it. Um, the next one is uh, Muzzle Tough, which has Tweety in it. And Sylvester and Granny and Hector the Bulldog. It's an okay title card. Uh, then we got the Talked About Pack Up Your Troubles. Um... Which they talked about as well on, uh... The um, podcast, and this short is a set to appear on the fourth volume of the Collector's Choice series, restored for the first time. So they're probably going to use the blue ribbon uh, thing, but that's fine. It stars Sylvester, the Woodpecker, and Rover. Pack up your troubles. Uh, Quackshot, again, Daffy Duck. Again, Daffy Duck doesn't disappoint. Awesome title card with Daffy on it. I like to see that. And again, I love the spreading out of the Daffy Duck shorts. It's amazing. Del Daffy Duck and Elmer Fudd. Yes. Yes, please. Road to Andale. Speedy Gonzalez, yeah. Based on the title, you can basically guess it's Speedy Gonzalez already. And it has Sylvester as well. Malcolm Falcom. 
Uh, yeah, it's kind of a generic title card. The Sneezing Weasel, ugh, Blue Ribbon, I don't like to see that. No characters mentioned here, uh, pretty much no one cares about this cartoon because it only has been released on Laserdisc and the Shining Hour Blu-ray. So yeah, the Sneezing Weasel, it's just a one-off, nobody cares. A streamlined, a streamlined Greta Green, this is an old one from 1937. Also, a one-off character, no ca characters mentioned here. Title card is, yeah, y you can't even call this a title card. Um, also, not very popular, only on Laserdisc and the Blu-ray of The Prince and the Pauper. Don't really care about that. Then we get Lighter Than Hair. This is the first of the two bonus shorts. This is Lighter Than Hair. With Bugs Bunny and Yosemite Sam. Like I said before, it has been released on the Superstars, but... Uh, there it was cropped to widescreen, but now it's going to be um, full screen, you know, like that we want to see, of course, uh, unedited and stuff on the Looney Tunes Collector's Choice Volume 4. So that's good. And the 27th cartoon, the final of the disc, is Stork Naked, which is another Daffy Duck short and another freaking nice title card. No character on it, but I like the little feathers here, so... Daffy Duck never disappoints, and once again, I love the spreading out of the Daffy Duck shorts in this volume 4 of the Collector's Choice. So, honestly, I absolutely freaking like the cartoons that are going to be on this disc. A lot of Daffy Duck, which is good for me. Some one-offs, some, um, some of everything, to be honest. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is a this is a great volume, honestly. So yeah, this is again once again the cover. Uh, this is probably gonna be my favorite um, of the collector's choice, um, with the second one being my least favorite because it had way too many one short characters, one shot characters. So yeah, um, once again, if you guys wanna check this out for yourselves um, go to looneytunesfandom.com and uh, just look up the collector's choice and you can read all this in your own time and stuff once again these are all the cartoons on there 27 this time which is awesome um, the pre-order isn't up yet but um, once it does um, please go buy this so we can actually get more volumes because this is probably the only way as of now that we can actually get new shorts um, so yeah uh, please keep this alive pre-order it please on day one and let's get this collector's choice series on its way with volume 5 and even more volumes uh, to become uh, so yeah um, this was my video for today. Um, for the people who are new here, thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Um, I'm doing this collector's choice thing uh, every time a new collector's choice comes out. So um, you guys can uh, subscribe for that if you guys want that. I know my uh, thing is kind of crappy, my microphone, but who cares. But for the people who are subscribed to me... Um, Sorry for the break, kind of, um, ever since I got myself a girlfriend, um, life got a lot busy and I had to prioritize, but I will still be uploading, um, so uh, please don't go away. I absolutely love you guys, I love you guys uh, for uh, supporting me and I will continue my channel, of course. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching. Enough babbling. Looney Tunes Collector's Choice, November 26th. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!